Well, good morning, YouTube. It is Wednesday the, hell, I don't know, October something. Let's see. Let's take a look-see. October 2nd. It's supposed to be blowing at least 15 knots from the due east, northeast. Yesterday, you know, it was... Huh, 20 out of the due east and we are having the fall epic tides this tides yesterday and it will be that way today are going to be over six feet because that east wind is going to push that flooding tide even in here further uh at the boat ramp the water is up in the parking lot and but i wanted to tell you i don't know why the hell i even bought shrimp because I'm over here at a different boat ramp, a better boat ramp, and look what I got. Look at all those mullets. Sitting here in the uh, ox Miami Oxygen Bar, but we're not in Miami. So, we'll see how they do. But I went and bought shrimp and look at this, look at all my shrimp. They're over here in the Miami oxygen bar also. That's what your shrimp. Oh man, there's mullet going down the side of the boat right here. Oh, there they are right there. <laughs> oh, there's a whole pile of them way over there by them birds. I know you can't see it because the GoPros don't have any zoom feature. But there's my oxygen bottles. One there. One there. This might be my folks pulling in. So, uh, yeah. Go figure. You buy a lot of bait. And uh, you end up coming over here to a really good ramp and catching the living hell out of mullet. So we'll see what today brings if I even finish this video. But it's a good morning to you, YouTube Wednesdays. All right, we finally caught one of our targeted species with all those mullet that were in my live well. He's not a stud. But he ate a mullet. Dave finally reeled one in. And it goes when you put it in the grease. Yeah. All right. This ain't no trout right here. And if he is, it's a goddamn 10 pounder. <laughs> that rod, I just threw out another mullet. Was that mullet bait as big as the other one was? Because this is a pretty good no. sized bait. Oh, this was a bigger mullet. Yeah. I didn't even pay attention. I just stick them, I just I, stick I them on there. I said, that's a big bait going out there. Yeah. Okay, this one might be net cam territory. I do the I do the net cam. You know, here we were doing all kinds of fancy shit. Now we're just chucking the damn mullet out on a spot. That's two fish right away. I would think it's a red fish. He didn't, he didn't run away from the boat. Usually they oh, is it a jack? No. What is it? Uh, don't you love this water? You can't even tell. Oh, it's a jack. Oh well. All right. It's a fish, and he fought good. Let's see. The throat on those things is unreal. It looks like a garbage disposal. Yeah. Look at this. He double hooked right around himself, right into the net. He's about a five-pound jack. All righty, we're on again, and we don't know what it is again. There's a lot of jacks around, and I wouldn't call this a super redfish spot. I mean, this is, I've caught some bull redfish here. No. I'm gonna move this again for you. It might be. 
It might be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it is. It's another jack. I think it's another jack. Yeah. Yep. Another jack o' lantern. Come here, dude. Yes, sir. All right. See, this is when you take your fly rod out and you hold your fly rod in your mouth and you hold the jack up. <laughs> yeah. Look what I caught. Yeah. Yeah, because on a fly rod, this guy would kick your ever ass upside down. So I got an old fly rod I bought it off a pawn store. Pawn store. You weren't losing him. Yeah, but he, he gives it up easy. Rebate it. All right. I'll hold it up. All right. That usually is referred to as a bass fishing, a ruiner of a bass fisherman. Because you catch a bass that big and he'll never pull like that dude does. That's a yellow submarine, folks. Especially when they hit about 35 pounds. Yep. My biggest jack ever was like 32. Uh, yeah. And I fought him for almost two hours on a 21 foot boat of a friend of mine up on the bow. <laughs> and I thought for sure I had a 75 pound king mackerel. <laughs> I kept It'll convincing. I kept convincing myself it was It'll a 75 pound king mackerel. All right, we got another one on that just bent the rod over. Incoming tide green, that's what I call this. And then there's fallen tide brown. Now is he caught in this line? Yeah, he got caught in this line. All right. There's one for you, Gary. This is this is the, this is the ones from your country, Gary. Y'all eat these. Yeah, I, I, we I, don't. I, we don't mess with these things. I call them saltwater piranha. <laughs> oh yeah, saltwater piranha, Mr. Bluefish, and he's not blue; he's green. Well, right here, tilt it this way. Makes it easier. Yeah. He's not blue; he's green. Isn't that fish green? Green. He's like not a, blue. Like a bass. Yeah. He's also swimming. Yeah, screw him. <laughs> All right, it's been a little while, but we got another. Let's see. They're all running to different sides of the boat. Let's see. Again, on a mullet. It would be great if it was a nice, big, old, fat, speckly trout. We're almost getting too used to them being jacks and bluefish and stuff now. Oh, it's a little jack. Man, we are getting jacked out. Well, there's our mullet. He's hanging. Is he still alive? No. He got bit. Now, see, that's a fish who don't care how big of a, of a bait that he eats. Look at the size of that bait, and his mouth is not that damn big. But there's another saltwater piranha. These are big ones for us, Gary. <laughs> but this one here drinks sweet tea. <laughs> there you go. He drinks sweet tea and he likes his chicken. Double dip fried. Maybe <laughs> All right. We're on again. I got the net cam ready. I'm waiting for that big giant trout. Oh, this one's doing a little running. He could be a red. Ooh, that would be nice. Well, 18 to 27 inches with the tail pinched. I didn't say that. We're not on camera. <laughs> oh, everybody wants to know if I got scissors. Oh, come on. This has to be a red fish. He's acting just like it. He's acting like it. He's acting just like a keeper. Running from the boat. He's acting like a keeper. It it's a, a keeper. Fish. It looks like a keeper too. I'm gonna get him back over here. We got a redfish finally, and hopefully it's a keeper. Hopefully it's black and black and redfish tacos for you and your crew. <laughs> they make good tacos. Oh, that looks like a keeper. Oh yeah, he's there. Oh yeah, he's there. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry about that. Yeah, they think he's a boat. Come here. 
Come here, who let the dogs out? There you go. Oh, look, he's got a lure in his mouth. Hey, he's got a uh, he's got a gulp in his mouth or something. Oh yeah, that is. No? That's a voodoo. Is that a voodoo or a or a DOA? That's a voodoo. Look at that. Oh, I know what that is. Oh, I know what that is. That's an Academy Sports. Is it? That's a that's a knockoff voodoo. Oh, a voodoo. So. All right, we take a picture. Look at that. We just relieved him. Oh, we just relieved him of this lure. Got, got a little blue head to it. He's more blue than a blue fish. All right. Six, five. Looks like uh, five and a half to six. Five and a half. Yeah, I was thinking maybe that'd be a six pounder. All right. Throw him down right here on this uh, measuring board here. See how big he is because you never know. I'm at zero. All right. Tail pinch, 25 inch. All right. Release into the chest. Yes. Right up in here. Maybe they'll start coming through here. I was saying, how long does it take before a redfish eats our mullet? And that's how long it takes, almost all day. Like but we got a keeper. That's the difference. The American Indian endeavor to persevere. <laughs> endeavor. Okay, I guess that leader's still okay. I guess he was a rubber shrimp eater at one time. Why was he so stupid to eat a rubber shrimp? <laughs> I don't know, but he sure like live mullet. Yep. All righty. Well, I just dropped off Dave from Mobile, Alabama. Inshore trout fisherman. Oh, someday I'm going to be a Gulf Coast fisherman. I always tell everybody it's when I grow up I'm going to become a Gulf Coast fisherman. They use split shots and live shrimp over there split shots and croakers to catch trout. I mean, <laughs> on our mullet today, we were using, we were lucky because we were only fishing 20 foot of water and we were using four ounces. So, boy, I'll tell you, that Gulf of Mexico. But that was it. And he let me have the uh, trout and the redfish, so I'm gonna go back and clean them. That'll be some dinner. I was supposed to have him and his son, but for some reason his son couldn't make it. Dave was here for some kind of uh, conference or something. So today's weather and everything was a lot better than yesterday. I was out yesterday and it was brutal. The wind and the tide, so. This tide is sort of waning now. Not as strong and probably not as high as it was. So, decent day, had fun. Always enjoy having one person on the boat. So, I'll see you on the next one.